Welcome back learners, students with ma'am kya online classes. So today we are going to do chapter 2, history and evolution of computers, part 3 which is last one. Now in part 3 we are going to see software and its type and types of computer. Now you may be wondering that what is software and what are the types of software and you will be having all questions related to software. Don't worry, I am there. I will solve your all these questions in this video lecture only. So let's go. So here is our first topic which is software. So what does software do? Software creates a bridge between the computer hardware and computer users. Now I want to ask you a question. Suppose you have a very costly good hardware system, but you don't have software. Will it work? No, right? So computer software can be considered as a soul of computer without which computer cannot work. Yes, as I told you now. Now software is organized collection of data and instructions given to computer in order to perform a given task. Now we will see that software refers to organized collection of computer data, instructions and documentation or description such as comments of software. Now the set of instruction is called computer program. Then the process of writing or coding programs is called programming and the individuals who perform this task are called programmers. So now let's see the types of software. Now basically here there are two types of software. One is system and second is application. System software is a set of program that manages computer hardware and it acts as interface between computer hardware and software. Here the word is coming software. So we are actually replicating to the word application software. So to run the application software also system software is needed. So system software is required to run the hardware and the other software even. So we can say that system software is a general purpose software that is essential for a program to work. System software is found in every devices. Every devices like what we say like smartwatches, smartphones, we can say laptops, personal computers, all of these devices have system software. Now we can say system software provides important functionalities like booting computers properly, managing memory, channeling data from secondary memory to primary memory and managing printers and other resources. Here in other resources we can say projectors, scanners like that. So now we have got familiar with what is system software and what does it do. Now we will see application software. So here I want to clear your idea about application software. Now application software are used by the end user and are specific in their functionality or task and do the job that they are designed to do. So we can take for example MS PowerPoint. Now MS PowerPoint is an application used specifically for making presentation. Yes, I have made this presentation with the help of MS PowerPoint. Now we can say other example like tele application. Now tele application is specifically designed to do accounting. You can't make presentations on tele application. Next example we take Amazon. Amazon is an application which supports online shopping, right? So they are doing specific task. So we can say that special software needed to be developed for this type of application specific support. Such software is also known as application software. Now here application software is a set of computer instruction that provide application specific functionalities to a user. Now let's move towards types of system software. So here we will see three types of system software. First is operating system. Now here operating system is the most prominent example of system software. Earlier we saw the two types of software which were system and application. So for system software this is the best example till now. So we can say that some examples of operating systems are also that is Windows, Apple, Android, Ubuntu etc. Now we say compiler. Compiler is the second type of system software. Now here I'll explain what compiler does. Some translated programs transform whole source code written in a programming language that is the source language. Source language can be like Java or C++ or C language. And it converts that source language into the target language mainly machine or binary language. So we can say it converts the codes into the machine readable format at once only. Now the transformed or translated code is later executed to obtain the desired results. Now you may be having a question that what if the source code have any error? Yes, if errors are there in the code then it will show all together errors in the end and you can rectify the errors and then you will get the desired results. Now we see the third type of system software that is interpreter. 
now here interpreter is slightly different in a respect to compiler we will see what is interpreter so some translator program translates transforms the source code into the target code in line by line fashion and produce the result simultaneously here in compiler what used to happen it used to transform whole source code at once only but in interpreter it is not the same it transforms the source code line by line and it produces the result simultaneously so converts the source program line by line and they can concentrate on a single line hence it is not possible to analyze the source code fully and further the interpreters are generally slow in comparison with compilers obviously if they convert source code line by line it will be slow only in comparison to compiler whereas compiler transforms whole source code at once only na now we will see types of application software now there are three types of application software first is business application second is general purpose and third is payroll program now business application business applications are used for printing reports from data stored then calculating bills generating pay slips marking attendance printing students mark sheets etc so for all of these tasks business applications are used second we have general purpose the best example of general purpose is word processing word processing is generally used by everyone like students teachers researchers and that is need of every business also then we see payroll program an organization's payroll program that generates pay slips in company's format on company's preprinted stationery you may be knowing that every company have their different unique pay slip format right so your payroll program does that only it generates pay slips in company's format on company's preprinted stationery then we will see the popular computers now even if the instructions are given in any generation programming language ultimately they are to be represented into sequence of digits like zeros and ones hence the computers are also known as digital computers from the name of the computer only that is digital we can say that the computers are represented into the sequence of digits that is zeros and ones then we see second type that is analog computers now analog computers use linear combinations of voltage amplitude or currents or frequencies or phases instead of digits that is why they are called analog computers the best example related analog here is speedometer in the images also it is also given speedometer uses linear combination of voltage amplitude now there are some computers use mixture of these two technologies that is digital computers and analog computers and the mixture of these technology are known as hybrid computers the name only suggest right then we see personal desktop computers now these computers are the most popular computer systems they are easier to use and they are more affordable they are normally used by individuals for their routine business activities yes you may have seen this personal desktop computers in offices schools now desktop computer is used for regular computing operation from a specified place such as an office then modern desktop are accompanied with monitor keyboard and a mouse along with a system box here system box is cpu now but this personal or desktop computer it is not portable and it is not sufficient to make it use if you want to go in different places so to overcome that drawback we have laptop computers so laptop computers are portable and they are lightweight computers with a thin screen they are also called notebook computers because of their small size they can operate on batteries and hence are very popular with travelers so as they can operate on batteries and you can charge them again it is very popular with travelers a laptop computer is actually a personal computer for mobile use a laptop has most of the same components as a desktop computer including a display a keyboard a pointing device such as touchpad also known as trackpad here in the image you can see here this is known as touchpad or trackpad and or a pointing stick and speakers into a single unit nowadays thin version of laptop called ultra book is becoming popular so the ultra book size and weights are thinner in comparison with the typical laptops ultra book computing technology uses high powered low voltage processors with long battery life so here it uses high powered low voltage processors so it will release less heat also then we see handheld computers handheld computers are also known as personal digital assistants which is in short known as pdas so pdas are small in comparison with laptop and they can be carried anywhere 
they use a pen like stylus and they accept handwritten input directly on the screen so we can say the screen is generally a touch screen they are useful in applications like scheduling appointments storing contacts and addresses and playing games next we see is tablet computer so here as the image suggests there are two types of tablet computers first is slate tablet and second is convertible tablet so a tablet computer is a portable and mobile computing tool it is a mobile computer like a bigger mobile phone with a touch screen facility it generally uses on screen virtual keyboard a passive stylus pen or a digital pen typically such tablet computers do not require keyboard because they have a virtual keyboard in them right there are two popular categories of tablet pcs these categories are first is a slate tablet pc the slate tablet pc is a type of tablet where keyboard is not attached however on demand the keyboard can be added and second is a convertible tablet pc a convertible tablet pc is basically a laptop computer with a screen that can swivel and fold into the keyboard to create the tablet so then we see wearable computers wearable computers are also known as body bond computers because they are attached to body so these are tiny computing device that are worn by the bearer that means the owner the wearable computers are small and lightweight as they need to be carried on human body right so the wearable computers come in the form of bracelet pendant spectacles and ring wearing such devices enables constant interaction with the computing system nowadays popular is smartwatch yes smartwatch tracks all of our sport activities then it tracks the oxygen level in blood so we can say the technology is getting very very advanced so there is less need to turn the device on or off they do it automatically further such devices are multitasking you may do other routine job in parallel often such device is considered as an extension of the user's mind or body a pre-programmed lightweight microprocessor chip is stapled on animal's body part like ears such a chip monitors movement of animal in a given region so we can say that in the image as you can see the microprocessor chip is stapled on the cow's ears so it will monitor the wherever cow will go we can know the location so here we are we saw the types of software there were two types of software which were they yes first was system software and second was application software then we saw popular types of computer that included digital computer analog computers and hybrid computers and there were many more so thanks for watching stay tuned in for more and if you have any queries please let us know i hope you like this video and you have got this thank you